This is Johnny Talks Toys. I'm Johnny and today I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about what to do if you don't have a Lego store near you. Okay, I go to six different retailers online. I go to three and I go to three stores. Online. The only way I will go online is to get something that's retired or I can't find in stores. I go to lego.com for the promo stuff and the Lego exclusives. Like the Simpsons house, I will order that off lego.com because it's exclusive. But I will order off lego.com. Like I'll buy stuff that I, like I said, I don't really want, but I do want the exclusive minifigure or exclusive poly bag, the promo thing. So I will order um, stuff I don't really want off lego.com to get the promo thing. Plus I'll review it anyway, but I really like getting the promo minifigs on lego.com because they're cool to get. eBay I'd go to to find old stuff that's retired or to get Lego pieces and Amazon just like another, like just like Lego.com, if I can't find something, I'll go there and get it. I go to Toys R Us, Target, and Walmart. Walmart is my last resort because um, it's every, their inventory is old at my Toys R Us. I mean, at my Walmart, their inventory is old. I got their uh, Prince of Persia lines there. Harry, some Harry Potter used to be there like a year ago, but they finally sold out of it. They got the original Hobbit sets. They got um, some old Ninjago stuff. So they are very old. They even have a land speeder there. Uh, Star Wars Luke Skywalker's land speeder that's sold. But um, they have the old inventory, which is great for the investors. I mean, investors will go there and find stuff. Like they could have the Death Star, randomly get the Death Star in and sell it. So that's great for investors. And you can turn your money over faster if you buy at Walmart because they're older sets. Target's right in between Walmart and Toys R Us, at least in my city. They um, have old stuff, but they have new stuff. Like, they have 2009 City Line. They have uh, Mars Mission. But then they have the 2014 Ninjago. So, um, Toys R Us, I mean, Target doesn't make sense to me, at least in my area, because you have old stuff and new stuff. So, that puts them right in between Walmart and Toys R Us. Toys R Us has got to be my favorite place to buy Legos because you get... The new sets. I mean, you got the movie sets. You got Star Wars sets. You got the new City Line. You got Creator, Technic, Princess, uh, Lone Ranger, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Chima. All the new stuff is at Toys R Us. The reason for that is because Lego consultants come in and set it all up for Toys R Us. Toys R Us isn't in charge of their Lego. They have zero control over their Lego. Lego controls the Legos at Toys R Us. They have like consultant people that come in and fix it for them and display it and stack it and straighten it so that's cool i think they're like in charge of the area but um toys r us is pricey though i mean 20 like you can get a set a set for 70 dollars on lego.com you'll pay 85 to 90 dollars at toys r us um i don't buy my big sets at toys r us only if it's rare and i see it i'll buy my um 50 dollars and under sets there because they're already overpriced, but I like buying at Toys R Us because it's all new stuff. They have all the new stuff, and the aisles are pretty cool, the little displays, because it's like a Lego store because Lego people come in and fix it for them. You got your light-up aisles, you got yellow flooring, yellow um, shelf or aisle units, whatever you want to call them. So Toys R Us, in my opinion, is my favorite place to buy Legos. Leave a comment, let me know where you guys like to buy Legos, and this has been Johnny Talks Toys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next review.